गाइस वेलकम टू मेट द बी I am directly going to jump on to topic. So I am um, today. This video is mainly focused on the problems you are going to face. Let it be any country, irrespective of any country. Not only MBBS Uzbekistan, MBBS Russia, MBBS Georgia, MBBS Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Bangladesh, or Nepal. Irrespective of any country, you are going to face this major three problems regarding your MBBS. Before getting into the video, I am here. to guide you perfectly there is there is a lot to tell there is a lot of updates coming at, for next there is a lot to tell about next how next is going to be implemented how we are going to face next it's a lot and it's a very big topic no consultancy will give you a brief introduction about next or nothing about next for this subscribe to my channel let's grow together this channel mainly focuses next your education 6 years of your education mbbs abroad mbbs in india and then people who are looking out for opportunities in us or europe who want to get into euro subscribe to my channel and let's grow together let's build up a beautiful community let's build up a supportive community the three major problems you are going to face in uzbekistan or any other country is first is duration remember duration people are saying many consultancies are clearly saying that 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 it's not 5 plus 1 it's going to be 6 only no official notice from the universities no official notice from the universities of uzbekistan have clearly mentioned that it's going to be 5 plus 1 it's going to be 6 might be the duration can increase up to 6.5 6.5 so be ready for this get prepared for this don't get into an emergency situation where you will get to know that the duration is going to increase be prepared for this the duration may increase okay first point and this is a valid point okay no one no one is going to say you this clearly i'm i'm telling you uh, remember the date mark the date 27 2023 i'm telling you that the duration in uzbekistan may increase second thing internship process yeah. internship certificate according to the gazette which came on november 8 2021 it clearly says internship should be similar to indian indian uh, internship that means the subjects taught in india should match subject taught in uzbekistan so make sure you see the syllabus make sure you see the syllabus of last year you talk to students don't talk to students who are already in youtube making videos for admission please don't they will only know the part where they have been taught to themselves to make a pitch for you to sell their structure don't talk to those students talk to students who are not making videos for admissions who are clearly telling you something who are giving you value talk to those students i'm telling you to talk to students who are providing value on youtube or instagram or twitter or quora anywhere but talk to those students about syllabus the internship process should be a valid should, should you should keep a valid point about internship before getting into any mbbs abroad country internship process and internship certificate is your ticket to india or else please don't take up mbbs abroad at all third major problem will be nmc or mci mci is gonna implement rules in future every matlab they they have mood swings random mood swings they get and they will change one rule and you should be prepared and you you should choose a university where this university can adhere to rules which can be changed by nmc or mci in future so make sure you you choose a university which will adhere to these rules 
okay these are three major problems or three major problems you should be considering before taking up mbbs abroad remember this first is duration second is internship third is nmc apart from that if they are giving license license is also a major problem but these three will play a major role sele uh, selecting your university okay now mbbs in uzbekistan is a safer option because duration is 6 years there is no official notice still the, the duration is 6 years but people from bukhara who graduated got their internship certificate got their license got their license in a matter of 6 years so mbbs is a safer option in mbbs in uzbekistan is a safer option but not the safest please give importance to my words give importance to my sentence that mbbs in uzbekistan is a safer option not the safest okay second thing mbbs in uzbekistan is giving you license without any licensing exam in their local language but in english yes there is an exam i will share you the screenshot of a local student who 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 tells me clearly that there is an exam to licensing exam to get your license done okay so there is exam be prepared for this it's a very easy exam it's a it's an mcq based exam in english itself so be prepared for this understand understand every point i'm saying i'm providing you value before getting into uzbekistan i'm giving you reality you won't see any video telling you this you won't see any video telling you the duration the internship thing okay i've seen multiple videos on youtube when i chose andijan state medical institute there was only one video saying that to a night tour of andijan and today i see so many videos about andijan hostel tours campus tours give information about the education pattern about how things are going to be there how things may affect you how things may affect students because i have experienced this and i'm telling you clearly okay because this stress of internship internship duration nmc is a lot more than you think and it's clearly affecting my studies okay but mbbs in uzbekistan is a safer option if you choose it it may go up to 6.5 years but let me tell you every cloud has a silver lining so even if it goes up to 6.5 years it will be given degree and license in the month of july so next will happen two times a year which is in june or november or december so june ka exam to waise bhi gaya matlab panch aur mahine june july august september okay september october and next will be on december so we will be giving the december next exam no matter what so it won't matter that much the duration बट इंटर्नशिप सर्टिफिकेट जो है वो मैटर करेगी क्योंकि सिमिलर होनी चाहिए जो इंडिया में अगर नाइनटीन uh, सब्जेक्ट्स की इंटर्नशिप हो रही है तो यहां पर भी नाइनटीन वही नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स की इंटर्नशिप होनी चाहिए नो नो अदर सब्जेक्ट इन दैट अगर ज्यादा हो रही है तो ठीक है कम नहीं होनी चाहिए ओके मेक दिस पॉइंट क्लियर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस डू कमेंट इट डाउन Okay, do comment it down. Do comment what? Uh, do comment it down if you don't know still what's next gonna be. Okay, I'm I'm telling you a brief introduction about next. Next is gonna be an integrated exam. What is integrated? Integration means a uh, mixing of two subjects. A uh, very asan bhasha me samjao to mixing of two subjects and making one question in it. Now oncology and radiation, mixing these both and making one question from this. Okay, this is gonna be an integrated based uh, exam. and it's going to be very tough very 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 tough clearly i'm telling you this so next videos i'm going to tell more about next Le next month se char videos aane wali hai ek next ki next ke bare mein mainly next ki hogi kyunki i'm starting a series of next subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed i'm providing value to you i'm giving you reality about mbbs okay but it's okay let's tackle it together students who have already enrolled in uzbekistan talk to me 
let's tackle it together let's build a beautiful community let's build a supportive community where everything in future in upcoming future if any problem if any rule which can affect us we can we should build up a community that we can fight it, fight against it okay i'm preparing you for the future so apart from that uh what i feel there are more three problems which is i feel which is personal problem as a student second thing uh in uzbekistan is there is mostly viva based exams so now every every class you will have a test which will be in viva that means you should be very good in english okay i have seen students from india not knowing matlab they know english very well but the, the present the way they present is a little tough like audience uh, audience fear or something like that but yeah people uh, from india suffer this problem have this problem and, and i totally understand if you have this but make sure you work on your english because most of the viva exams are in english so the more beautiful you present the answer the more marks you get it doesn't matter at how much knowledge you have but you should present that knowledge in front of a class in front of the teacher make sure you work on english second thing language local language you should uh, you should learn the local language actually the more you learn the local language the more opportunities you will have okay so the more the more you learn the lo local language there you will have more opportunities in um, hospitals more opportunities in functions more opportunities where you can get a scholarship so learn the language second point third point is you will get a lot of freedom lot of freedom and you will spend that time lavishly एक साल चला जाएगा दो साल चला जाएगा थर्ड ईयर चला जाएगा फोर्थ ईयर चला जाएगा योर एनाटमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी विल बी देयर इट सेल्फ सो स्पेंडिंग टाइम इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम मोस्ट ऑफ द अब्रॉड स्टूडेंट्स कैन रिलेटेड टू दिस सो डोंट स्पेंड टाइम देयर गेट योर सब्जेक्ट्स डन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट तो मजे होते रहेंगे लैविश टाइम मिलता रहेगा लेकिन ये मत भूलो कि एक चीज करने आए हो वहां पर वो करके निकल जाओ ठीक है so clear your subjects these are the problems which i faced as a student which i am facing as a student so i am telling it to you this is an advice to all the juniors or my batchmates that it's time to get serious next aa gaya hai next bahut tough hone wala hai ye sachai hai or any any doubt um regarding mbbs uzbekistan regarding mbbs itself regarding mbbs education itself do contact me i have given you my personal number get put a message on to me there okay because there are multiple scams going on there is a kerala student i am telling you stories there is a kerala student uh, who has paid 7.7 lakhs for anni jaan in first year clearly i am telling you this 7.7 lakhs that means at least of at least 2.5 lakhs was given to the consultancy simply without doing any work when there are multiple scams like this for admission regarding admission and people are charging more 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 hectic fees for this for the services given same or below average okay so contact me regarding admissions also if you if you if you feel that you are being scammed only if you feel that you are being scammed that's all not uh, not regarding admissions i want get into that admission thing more because i'm taking a responsibility of only 10 students this year and i'm not going to do much so any questions any doubts regarding that put it in comment section regarding mbbs education regarding next regarding internship regarding license regarding um regarding your subjects which subjects uh, what subjects you can put questions like this and i will be very 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 happy to answer all these questions uh don't <coughs> i'm not defaming anyone on the youtube i'm not defaming any anyone who's working there who's showing um who showing things about uzbekistan i'm not defaming anyone i'm just telling you that provide value 
provide value whatever you are doing provide value to students please that's all so until next subscribe to my channel so until next video das vidaniya i am mohammad zabi and i am logging off